All right, today we are looking at how to speed up your editing process in Premiere Pro by basically just adding notes to your footage in the timeline. And the way we do that is by using markers. So as you can see here, I've got a sequence open. I'm editing a diving sequence. And you'll see above the timeline here, I've got these markers. And the way I'm using these markers right now, if we zoom in, I'm basically missing some footage here that I still need to go and shoot. So I've basically labeled these blank spots to remind myself of what I need to go and shoot and where I want this footage to lie. So for example, I filled one in over here. It's a GoPro back roll, and this is me rolling back. So I can go ahead and clear that marker now because I've added the footage. But in other cases, I still need to add. So for example, I've got drone shot of group going into the water, uh, shots of us descending, and as you can see on this timeline, I'm using these markers to remind myself what I need to go and shoot and what kind of footage I want in these blank spots. The other way to use markers is to basically tell yourself what is in this sort of part of the sequence. So for example here, I've got various shots from underwater and this is particularly useful if you're interviewing people. You may kind of you might want to start labeling pieces of the footage to sort of break down the interview. So you can zoom in really quickly and you know straight away, ah, okay, this is where they say blah 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 blah. So if I wanted to go ahead and maybe start labeling this footage to help me very quickly know what it is, I would come to here and where I want the marker to start. I'd have the playhead and then I literally just press M and straight away you see the marker pop up. Now you go ahead and double click that marker and it opens up the marker window and I'm going to name this one Clownfish Underwater. And then go ahead and just sort of click and drag the duration so that it lasts for however long you need it. I'm just going to go three seconds and you can also sort of choose the color. So I'm going to go for this color here because it's different to the other markers I've used. This one's telling me what is in the footage on the timeline. And then once you're happy with that, you go ahead and click OK. And now, as you can see, I've got this lovely marker here. I'll just make sure it finishes at the end of this clip, Clownfish Underwater. And then I may go ahead and add another one. So we'll go here, make sure the playhead is where you want it to start. Hit M, double click. I'm going to name this one Colourful Fish Over Reef. I'll choose the colour of that again, and then I'm going to click and drag. I'll go three seconds again, click OK. And that's added itself above the footage. I'll just make sure it ends where I want it to. Uh, so yeah, that is a very quick, easy way to just straight away you can zoom in and you know what footage is where without even having to play or scroll through. Now over here I've just listened to the audio and it's me talking about prepping gear. I've got a few shots over here but this blank spot needs to be filled so I'm going to zoom in there, hit M, double click and I'm going to say I need to get some GoPro point of view footage of prepping my tank. And I'm going to click and drag, we'll go 7 seconds, 6 seconds on that. This one's orange because it's for me to add footage in. And there we go, as easy as that. And then I'll just click and drag this, boom, filling in this blank spot. Uh, so there you have it, this is, I, I use markers all the time to add notes to my timeline. I think it's, it, it's really helped me a lot and it's a, a very easy little hack that can speed up your editing process. Thank <laughs> you.